Italy is cutting back and easing all of its coronavirus restrictions, which is good news for you, the traveler. Soon you'll no longer need a face mask or vaccination pass to travel around this great country. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down all the upcoming rule changes and key rollout dates. And stick with me because at the end of the video, I'm going to answer your questions. Now let's get going. In a recent video, I already spoke about how it's become super easy to enter Italy. Currently, to enter the country, you need one of three things, a vaccination pass, a negative coronavirus test, or failing either of those, a COVID recovery certificate. Now, if you're coming in on a negative coronavirus test, bear in mind that PCR test that you take needs to be done 72 hours before the date of your arrival. If you're taking a rapid test, that works too, but that needs to be done within 48 hours before your arrival. And regarding your vaccine, vaccination pass, make sure it's up to date. That first primary cycle, your two dose cycle or one dose if you get the J&J, &J, needs to be done within the last nine months. If that's not the case, you're gonna need the booster and there's no time limit on the booster. Now let's talk about the new information and the upcoming rollout date so you can begin planning your trip here to Italy and drinking all the wine and eating all the pasta this country has to offer. Prime Minister Mario Draghi last week announced some important information and I've cobbled together different news resources and intel so I can give it to you. Starting on April 1st, the Italy's state of emergency for coronavirus officially ends after a two year battle against the pandemic and let's not forget 100 50,000 people who died here in Italy alone. That means starting on April 1st, we'll see a gradual rolling back of the restrictions and rules that are in place. Starting on April 1st, you'll no longer need to show your vaccination pass for shops, museums, or at hotels, and that includes outdoor bars and restaurants. Now, for public transportation, that's likely to be the case too. However, for planes and trains, you're expected to still show your vaccination pass. Now, good news for all you party goers out there because outdoor clubs and sporting venues will now be able to operate at full 100% capacity. As for indoor dining or indoor bars, well, Italians will still need to show their vaccination pass. And tourists, well, you can show your vaccination pass or a negative coronavirus test. Now on May 1st, get ready to party because Italy will no longer require that you wear a face mask or show your vaccination pass. Now in certain situations, you will still still have to show your vaccination pass, like if you're visiting a friend or a relative in the hospital, and those rules are expected to stay in place until the end of 2022. Now regarding face mask on May 1st, you won't have to wear them anywhere, including public transportation and any of those other places that weren't already cleared on April 1st. Now you may still want to do it because I know over the last two years wearing a face mask, I've had less colds and flus than I had in the past. Now June 15th is the third and final date that you could put on the calendar, but you, the traveler, you won't worry about that too much because you'll be too busy wondering how the Pisa Tower is still standing. But on that date, Italy is gonna scrap the requirements for teachers police officers and those over 50 to be vaccinated however the rule will still apply and rightly so to hospital and home care workers this is La Loja it's this beautiful terrace out here it's in Hotel Guardani Hotel Guardani hopefully I'm pronouncing that right Look at this amazing view. I'm here in Ultra Arno, and this is overlooking the Piazza Santo Spirito, a perfect place to end your day and take a drink and just oh, look at the whole beautiful sunset off of that way and reflect on the day. But let's get back down to business. Now, all these rules are expected to be announced at the end of this month, at the end of March, and put Italy in line with the rest of the European Union, including France, which has already scrapped the mask and vax rules, and Germany, which starting on March 20th will do the same for their country as well. Now, let's get down to your questions that you had for me. Raya Wheeler in Frames by Seb, both from Canada, asked me if their QR code will work here in Italy when they're scanning those codes for the vaccination pass. No, they won't. They won't work here. 
only if you're from Europe or the European Union, that includes Great Britain as well, well the Great Britain, they're no longer in the European Union, but those QR passes will work here for the VAX pass, but coming from outside of Europe, it won't work, but soon that won't matter as of April 1st and May 1st, you don't have to think about it anymore. Yori D and Sade Richards asked about staying in hotels if you're not vaccinated. Well. Currently, you can't do that. The rules allow you to enter Italy if you have a vaccination pass, if you have a negative COVID test or your COVID recovery. Those are the current rules and you can't get into hotels unless you have that vaccination pass. But again, the rules are changing and as of April 1st, you can stay in hotels, no problemo. Look at this amazing view out here. This is fabulous. Now, Rick Reeves, or maybe it's Rick Reeves, I think it's Rick Reeves, asked, which Grand Tours am I covering this year at the bicycle races? Well, I think I've already answered, but I'm covering the Tour de France and the Vuelta España. Add to that all the classics up in Flanders and the races like the Criterium du Dauphiné. And Ricardo Diaz from the United States asked, do I need to get the Italian Green Pass? I've been vaccinated three times with Pfizer. Do I need the Italian Green Pass? Well, let me clear up some misconceptions because the Italian Green Pass, the Green Pass is what the Italians call the vaccination pass or your CDC card. So don't get the terms confused. No, you don't need a Green Pass because you have your vaccination card. But anyway, none of that will matter come April or May 1st. And those are the three key dates, April 1st, May 1st, and to some extent, June 15th. For all you Italian lovers out here and those here in Italy, you'll have less questions and you can just get to having more fun in Italy.